Okay, Michael. So I have written out, uh, based upon uh, your rather impressive way of thinking about it, all the possible strategies for A and all the possible strategies for B. A can go left, 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 right, right, left, right, right, for states one and four, respectively. And B can go left, right, middle, right, or right, right. 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 Um, in particular, three, uh, in state three, B can only go R, which makes B a... Conservative? A pirate. Oh, that makes more sense. It does make more sense. Okay, so now why did I write it this way, Michael? Well, I wrote it this way because if I write it this way with all the choices, all the strategies that B has up here and all the strategies that A have here, I actually form a matrix. And I can put in each of the cells of the matrix uh, the value of taking a particular strategy from A and a particular strategy from B. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's very clever. Yes, it is very clever. Um, I'm very happy that I came up with it entirely on my own. Okay, so um, let's start filling in these numbers. Or instead of filling in the numbers ourselves, we could ask the students to do it by making it a quiz. Nice. I shall, see. Okay. Shall we do that? Sure. It doesn't seem very hard. Okay, so let's make certain that everyone here understands and uh, what exactly we're asking you to do. We're saying that if, for example, A takes this first strategy, go left in state one and left in state four, and B takes its first strategy, which is go left in state two and right in state three, what is the value for A that will uh, result? So let's actually do the first one uh, as an example and ask everyone to do the rest of them. That seem fair? Yeah, that's what I was going to suggest too. Okay, good. So let's see. If A goes, chooses to go left in state one, since A goes first, we'll end up in state two, right? Mm -hmm. And then in this first strategy, B goes left in state two, which means we will end up going down this path, and the value there is plus seven. So seven is, in fact, the value of this game with respect to A. Now, we know that because this is a two-player, uh, zero-sum, finite, deterministic game of perfect information, that if A gets a value of seven, B gets a value of minus seven. So we could write minus seven here, seven comma minus seven here, but since we know that it's equal and opposite, uh, let's just write down the value for A, okay? Just for compactness sake. Does that seem fair to you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So with that in mind, let's see if we can fill out uh, the rest of this table. I think you can do it? I think so. Okay. Do, then, can you give me a place to write everything? Uh, it will magically appear. Go. Go. <laughs> 